Okay, so to begin with, I have attached my clothes pins to a piece of cardboard. And I like doing it this way because um, if I have it sitting on some type of a pedestal, I can actually spray them and then flip the board right away and spray the other side. Um, I do not have them on a pedestal right now. So I will probably just let it dry a bit and then flip it over. Um, I will be spraying the clothes pins with a paint and primer from Krylon and I have it in black gloss. So I will give this one to two coats and then I will take them on inside. Okay, so I have brought all my clothes pins in. They have dried nicely. Now, before I begin attaching the clothes pins onto the pizza pan, I went ahead and I marked out where my mirror is going to go. So what I did was I just centered it to the center of the back of the pizza pan and then roughly I measured about two and a half centimeters from the mirror to the edge of the um, the indented part of the pizza pan. So this part right here, not all the way to the lip, but just to this part here, I measured two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, and two and a half centimeters all the way around, and that pretty much centers the mirror to the back of the pan. Now, of course, the mirror, when I do glue it, will be glued this way. But before I glue the mirror on, I'm gonna go ahead and take my E6000 glue and hot glue gun, and I'm going to add that to the back of the pizza pan, and then I am going to clip on my clothes pins. Now this time, um, I did do another DIY, and it was a platter wreath wall decor. I only used the hot glue when I was attaching the clothes pins to the pan. But because this is going to be a serving tray, I really want to make sure that these clothes pins are on very strong. So I'm going to go ahead and use the E6000 glue as well. So I'm going to... Go ahead, put all my clothes pins on, and then we will move on to the next step. Okay, so I'm almost done. I just wanted to show you how I apply the glue. I just put a line of the E6000 right on the edge and then on the inside I just add the hot glue and I'm pretty generous with it because this way when I go to put the clothes pins on it actually goes in between each of the clothes pins. So not only is it adhering from the bottom, but as well in between, giving it a much stronger bond. Now I went ahead and I applied the E6000 glue to the back of the mirror all around the lip of the frame of the mirror. I'm going to now apply a little bit of hot glue just so that it'll adhere to the back of the pizza pan right away and then I'm going to let that dry for 
um, probably about six to eight hours if not overnight so I'm gonna go ahead apply my hot glue turn it over and then I'm going to again line it up with those markings that I made which again were two and a half centimeters um, to the the um, edge here and that way it'll be pretty centered to the back of the pizza pan okay so here I have it glued on now again I'm going to probably let this dry overnight and then we will move on to the next step in the morning okay everyone so one last step before I let this dry overnight and that is I need to attach my six inch door pulls to each side of the pizza pan now I just turned my pizza pan over so now the pizza pan is facing right side up and the mirror is underneath but it will actually dry better this way because the weight is on the mirror and it will get a better bond that way so all I'm going to do is these are my door pulls and I'm just going to apply some E6000 glue and hot glue to the inside here now it is hollow so I'm going to apply my hot glue first and then put my E6000 glue on top of that I really want to make sure that these are bonded really well because remember this is a serving tray on this side and so if you do have glasses or whatever you just really want to make sure that these handles are on there very secure so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my glue and then place my door handles on each side of the pizza pan on top of the clothes pins and then I will let all of this dry overnight and then we will move on to our next step in the morning. so I'm sorry about the lighting um, but as you can see I have applied some E6000 glue to the jute twine which works out so much better this way now I'm just gonna add a little bit of hot glue just to so that it adheres to the clothes pins right away And I'm just going to cover the old glue. So I'm gonna put it in the same spot and just press down. And that, I am much more happy about. And I actually like it better this way as well because it covers up the little holes where the screws were supposed to go in and it actually gives it more of a farmhouse look. So it was a little bit of thinking and adjusting to this DIY, but I'm glad that I did go ahead and take off the door pulls and then adjust it with the jute twine because it looks a lot nicer and I'm also much more confident that it is going to hold better as well. Okay, so at this point, everything has dried up quite nicely. And what I'm going to do now is I've actually flipped it over so it is now the mirror side facing up. And before I go ahead and finish off my tray side with my Main Street Wall Creation stickers, I am going to finish off the back where the mirror is 
And all I'm gonna do for that is I'm gonna take my jute twine and I'm gonna take my hot glue and I'm just going to wrap the jute twine around until the pizza pan that is exposed in the back is completely covered. flipped my DIY over to the tray side and as you can see my handles look great I am so happy that I ended up using the jute twine not only because now I really feel that they're on there secure and I'm not going to worry about them coming off but also I love the way it looks it gives it gives it more of a farmhouse feel so now I'm going to take my Main Street wall creation stickers and I'm just going to place them on the tray. And this is another way that I love using these stickers for projects such as this, because if I should decide that I want to change the saying up in the center, I just peel them off and then place another set on. Okay everyone, so here is the finished look on the tray side of my farmhouse 2-in-1 DIY tray and mirror and I absolutely love how this has turned out. Now I actually made this for another purpose but I may just keep this one to use on my coffee table and then make another one because I love how it came out so much. But what I did make it for was my, it was a previous DIY that I did. It was a Dollar Tree slash Ray Dunn inspired DIY. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture of how I will be using a similar tray. Because this one's going to be on my coffee table. But how once I make my other one how I will be using it that is what I originally made it for but I absolutely love this tray and I think it will look great on my coffee table so I will insert a picture with that DIY and this one together But again, this is a two-in-one DIY, so now I will remove all the items here, and then I will turn it over, and what I will be placing the mirror on is actually a D, um, excuse me, a Dollar Tree um, picture frame stand, and I will place it on there. It holds it very well. Um, if you do decide to use it as the mirror, I would just maybe recommend that you have it leaning against the wall or propped up in a corner just to be more secure in case it does fall over. I mean anything can fall over but it does sit very nicely on the stand so I'm just going to go ahead and show you that now. Okay everyone so here I have turned the tray around to the mirrored side of this DIY and I absolutely love how this has turned out. And definitely I have decided that I will be making another one because I really would love to use this 
on an entry table to the back entrance of our home because I just think that it will look perfect there and it is just too pretty not to show it on this side. It really, really turned out better than I expected and a lot more expensive. Um, perhaps it doesn't pick up on camera, but in person, it really does look like something that you would find in a really um, nice decor store. So I am so happy again how this has turned out. I simply have it sitting on the plastic um, easels from the Dollar Tree. I will insert a picture in case you're not sure which one I'm talking about. And they do come in clear and in black, at least that I've seen. And it really holds this piece up nicely. It's not flimsy. It doesn't seem like it's going to tip, tip over. It really does hold it nice and secure. So again, I really... I'm so happy with how this has come out. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. I really love when I can make these two in one DIYs because you know you get more use out of them or if you get tired with it and you want to use it for something else then you have the option of doing that and not having so many pieces. Um, so again I hope you enjoyed this DIY. I so enjoyed making it and if you did please give it a like share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and as always guys take care and i hope to catch you in my next video bye bye